Now this is time to discuss about AIM 16. In this AIM 16, we are going to learn about concurrent lines of a triangle. What are they? Concurrent lines in a triangle. In previous aim already we discussed about the concurrent lines. What is meant by concurrent lines? Three or more lines having same common point then we will call them as concurrent lines. Here see three or more lines are passing through the same point then we can say those lines are concurrent lines. Let us see the concurrent lines in a triangle. Among them, first one is median. What is that? Median. First one is median. What is a median? The line segment which join vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of its opposite side. Let me repeat the line segment which join vertex and midpoint to its opposite side then that line is called as median. A line segment which joins vertex and midpoint of its opposite side, its opposite side, then that line is called as median. Let me show you in figure and here it is a triangle, A, B, C. Let me explain what is the median. Median is nothing but the line segment which came from the vertex and its op midpoint of its opposite side. It joins vertex and opposite side of the vertex and here what is the opposite side of vertex A? It is nothing but BC. Now let me find the midpoint of this BC. Suppose BC, here D is the midpoint on BC and now join this A and D. It is called the median. How many medians can we draw? Yes, we can draw three medians in this triangle. Now here vertex B opposite side is AC. Let me find the midpoint of this side and if I join this one this is also called a median and one more median also we can draw in this triangle and this is like this and suppose if it is a midpoint and here next one let it be name as E and it is CF. So, AD, BE and CF are the medians of this triangle and let me see one more triangle. Now let it be X, Y, Z. Now draw the median of this. Let me draw only one median in this triangle. Draw the median which is passing through x. If the median is passing through x means we have to take the midpoint of x y or y z. Yes, but opposite side to the vertex x is only y z. Now identify the midpoint. Now it is the midpoint. Let it be p. Now here 
Xp is called as median. In the same way, how many medians we can draw in a triangle? We can draw three medians in a triangle. Now, let me explain about what is altitude. And my second one is altitude. What is meant by altitude? Altitude means the line segment which is passing through the vertex and makes 90 degrees to its opposite side. Here the line segment making an angle 90 degrees to the side and if you join that point to this to its opposite vertex then we will get the altitude. Let me show you diagrammatically and now here I am going to take one triangle and here most thing you have to remember this the line segment which is perpendicular to its opposite side. Suppose if it is ABC triangle and here the line segment which came from the vertex A and its make angle 90 degrees with its opposite side. Then only we will call let it be D and here AD is called the altitude. Remember altitude always makes 90 degrees its base and the and let me repeat the line segment which is came from the vertex and making 90 degrees with its opposite side. Then how many lines how many altitudes we can draw in a triangle? We can draw three altitudes in a triangle and it is a acute angle triangle. Let me draw altitude for obtuse angle triangle. Abtuse angle triangle means like this only no. Can you draw the altitude from this vertex? Let it be x, y, z. Here remember that line segment should be making 90 degrees. So, I am starting from here. Can I draw like this? If I draw like this, it does not make 90 degrees with its base. So, definitely I should draw like this. Where is the base? In this, in these cases, we should extend the base of the or sides of the triangle. And here, let it be M. Here, XM is the altitude of X, Y, Z. In obtuse angle triangle, the altitude will be far outside of the triangle. Whereas in acute angle triangle, it will be inside. And here and here also, we can draw for any triangle, we can draw three altitudes. In obtuse angle triangle, two altitudes fall outside and one altitude will be far inside of the triangle. And here you can see. And now, what about the right angle triangle? Now let me draw right angle triangle which is P Q R. Here it is the right angle. Here the legs will serve as altitudes and P Q and Q are the altitudes of the two altitudes of this right angle triangle and one more altitude we can draw here like this. So, for any triangle we can draw three altitudes and now let me go with the perpendicular bisector. And my third one is here perpendicular bisector. What is meant by perpendicular bisector? 
here it is a triangle the line segment which is passing through with point of the sides and making 90 degrees with the same side then we can say that line is called as perpendicular bisector of bisector of that triangle let me show you in figure now i am taking one triangle which is a b c in the name itself it is a meaning bisector means dividing into two halves and perpendicular means perpendicular means 90 degrees here the line segment should do two works that is it should divide the line segment into two halves at the same time it should make 90 degrees with the same base now here I am going to take one line and here let it be D here D divides BC into two halves and here and here here BD is equal to DC and this line is divide the base into otherwise this side into two halves this means bisector at the same time it is making an angle 90 degrees so I can say this line as the perpendicular bisector how many perpendicular bisectors can I draw in, in this triangle not only in this triangle for any triangle we can draw three perpendicular bisectors now, and now let me show you and this is the second one let, let it be E and here also it is is divide this side into two equal parts and making here 90 degrees similarly this side also we can draw and now let me explain about the angular bisector and my fourth one is angular bisector what is meant by angular bisector in the name itself it has a meaning bisector means it divide into two halves what it should be divide it should divide the angle into two halves means the line segment or the line which divide the given angle into two halves that line segment or line as called as angular bisector let me show you in figure and here is a triangle x y z suppose here it is the angle y let me draw one line or one line segment what it is doing what it is doing it should be this line suppose let it be y z continually going let it be y p here y p is the angular bisector how can I say it should divide the given angle into two equal parts two halves here the angle here y p divides this angle into two equal halves total angle is 2 x but this y p divide the 2 x into two halves which is which are equal here x and here x no and how many angular bisectors we can draw in a triangle absolutely right they are also three similarly here also we can draw angular bisectors like this and here it is also divided into let it be y no problem and here also uh, let it be q here ZQ is the angular bisector of angle Z why because it divides the given angle into two equal halves similarly we can draw here also so overall in a triangle we can draw three medians and three altitudes three perpendicular bisectors and three angular bisectors 
these are the concurrent lines why because those three are passing through same point only let us see in the next aim and now let me show you the uh, the lines see if you observe here in the first figure median it is the median how i can call it as a median see here this is the line segment which is passing through the vertex to the midpoint and this is the midpoint of this side this is the midpoint now here i have a line segment that join vertex and midpoint of its opposite side so i can call it as a median now coming to this figure and this is the altitude and you know this is the obtuse angle triangle obtuse angle triangle i am taking this vertex altitude means the line segment which is passing through the vertex and making angle 90 degrees to its opposite side so here i am extended this side so here this is the line which making angle 90 degrees and passing through its opposite vertex and this one i can call as altitude and coming to this this is the perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector means the line segment which divide the side into two halves at the same time it should make 90 degrees see this is the lines which is divide the base into two halves at the same time making angle here 90 degrees that's why i can call this one as perpendicular bisector now this is the angular bisector angular bisector means the line segment which divide the angle into two equal parts two halves here this is the line segment which divide here angle into two halves and here here these two measurement of these two angles are must be equal then only we can say this is the angular bisectors in the same way here we can we can take or we can draw three medians three altitudes three perpendicular bisectors and three angular bisectors also thank you